So hey, here's a contentious one. Massage guns are one of the biggest crazes out there at the moment. But do they actually work? Let's find out. Hey guys, Khaled here. Welcome back to Clinical Physio. So why were massage guns created in the first place? Well, first of all, you only have to buy them once and you can use them as many times as you want. They do all the work for you. Some pretty big names have been seen to use them like Cristiano here. And of course, they feel good. But key question, do they actually work? Let's check out the evidence. All the links for the evidence we use is in the description below. And we'd love to hear your thoughts on the video. So please let us know what you think in the comments below. And of course, please smash that like button. So whilst there is evidence looking at vibration massage or percussion massage, there isn't that much research which only clearly looks at massage guns. I did find a few though. The first is from Conrad et al. And they were looking at massage guns to see whether or not it could improve range of movement and strength performance for the calf muscles. So they assessed their participants, healthy athletes, on two different days. On one day, the athletes did nothing before measurement. And on the second day, they had five minutes of massage gun therapy before measurement. What was measured? Well, the amount of dorsiflexion available at their ankle and the maximum voluntary contraction torque of the calf muscles during contraction. So then they compared the results of those measurements on the day when the athletes did nothing before measurement and on the day when they had massage gun therapy before assessment. What were the results? Well, they found very little change in the maximum voluntary contraction torque. However, they did find an 18% improvement in the range of dorsiflexion for the group that had massage gun therapy. Hmm. So my next paper is from Kujala, Davis and Young from 2019, and they wanted to look at the effects of massage gun therapy on muscular strength performance through the vertical jump test. So they asked all their participants to do a relatively standard 15 minute warm up, and then they separated them into two different groups. The first group had five minutes of complete rest before doing the vertical jump, and the other group had five minutes of massage gun therapy to their quads, their calves, glutes, and hamstrings before doing the vertical jump test. So, the results? Well, they actually found no difference in the results of the vertical jump test, whether or not the participants did five minutes of rest or five minutes of massage gun therapy before doing the test. So I suppose it's quite similar to Conrad et al from 2020. When it comes to muscular performance, it doesn't necessarily seem like massage gun therapy has a significant effect. Now, it's also really important for me to mention that there have been some very adverse research papers, some case reports, which you can find in the description below, of examples where patients have had very dangerous injuries following the use of massage guns. And those include things like rhabdomyolysis, a hemothorax to the lungs, and even vertebral artery dissection in the neck. So please, be careful out there with these massage guns. And if you're not sure on how to use them, please consult a healthcare professional who can help you. Okay, so what are my own personal thoughts? Well, first of all, why do we actually use massage guns in practice? I suppose the majority of the time it revolves around recovery. Patients who have muscle pain or delayed onset muscle soreness, DOMS, after a sporting event or exercise. And there isn't that much research out there looking at the use of massage guns in recovery. I suppose you really need someone to create some breathtaking paper where they looked at pain levels and DOMS after the use of massage guns compared to a control group. And we don't quite have that yet. So even though there isn't that much research, how come we are finding that patients use massage guns after exercise? I suppose there's two key factors. The first one is the obvious one, the physical factor. The idea that it provides massage to your tissues and therefore it makes sense that it might have an effect. Now, I have done a video on the effectiveness of sports massage and you can find that in the description below. And it is clear that sports massage can help in the recovery process for pain and DOMS after sporting events. So while sports massage and massage guns are very different things, Perhaps you can see the theory behind it. The second factor is psychological. And for me, unfortunately, there's no denying it that marketing plays a heavy role in this. Hey, let's be honest. If you see Cristiano Ronaldo using a massage gun, 
you would stop and think, hmm, maybe I should try that. Also, there's no denying it looks quite comforting and relaxing when someone else is using one. And so individuals will think, hmm, that looks pretty good. I'd like to try it myself. Therefore, there's already this positive association with the product just by looking at other people using it. And therefore, when there is that positive association within ourselves before we use it, there's already an increased likelihood that we will feel some kind of benefit from using it ourselves. Now, patients will also say, but it feels really good. Surely I can use it. And in the grand scheme of things, if they find that it's beneficial to themselves, if they don't get too dependent on it, and they understand that there's only a short term effect of the massage gun on their recovery, then I suppose I can't argue with that. However, we definitely can't say that something is really, really useful and it really, really works just because it feels good in the short term. The other thing to really consider is safety behind its use. And when it comes to safety, we've seen some of the case reports earlier in this video showing that it can be quite harmful if you use it in the wrong places and in the wrong way. So I always do say to people, it's well worth speaking to a healthcare professional just the one time to get advice on where to use it and how to use it so that you can protect yourself. What I definitely do not approve of though, is going to see a physiotherapist or another healthcare professional three times, four times a week, just for them to use a massage gun on you. That's not required. You can ask your wife, your husband, your friend, or even do it yourself once you've got that initial first piece of advice. So guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please smash that like button and support us by subscribing to the channel if you've enjoyed this video. And don't forget, there's more of us on Instagram, at Clinical Physio, and on the website, clinicalphysio.com. I'm Khalid. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon here on Clinical Physio.